So on this room, the chiseling and the cleaning has already been done. So look very closely here. You can see that this is what it looks like before mortar is installed. And we use grout bags to tuck the mortar in there and tools to press it in and smooth it out. We're going to be using a skim coat of mortar over the brick. And in order to make this room um, finished, uh, we're going to be coming back, letting it dry out a little bit. So we're going to add mortar to the sill as well. There's moisture on the outside, which makes the mortar look darker or wet in this area. Over in this area to the right, there is less moisture on the other side of the wall. So it doesn't look as wet. Here it is with mortar in it. We have some lighting difference here. We have some lights in the room. Water's, the mortar is wet, so we're going to wait for to tool it out. But before we add that scratch coat to the brick, we have to clean off the brick and wet it down. So we're going to wait until this gets dried up to finish tooling. We did this yesterday, the day before we did this whole area. So you can see where it's drying out up top, where it's drier on the other side, and then down below it's darker mortar. So because that's not quite cured and dried yet, but it will dry out the same color down below. So this room is finished and the walls are almost finished, but not quite. So in this room is adjacent to the room we were just in. It is being tooled out now by these two workers. And this process will continue with these walls. Chisel out the old mortar, clean it all out, vacuum the stone. And and fill in the joints with mortar and brush it down. It's the same process every time. It gives us two to three inches of mortar in the joints, which is a nice, strong, substantial amount. So it'll stick, it'll stay long time, long term. As you can see, this chiseling is a very intense process. This is the finishing process. So the mortar, the walls have been cleaned off. The mortar has been placed in there, tucked in there with a grout bag. And now we're smoothing out the joints. We let it cure over lunch break. And it takes about two to three hours to, to uh, tool it down and clean out the joints. So the first half of the day we apply the mortar and the second half of the day we tool it out, smooth it out, finish it. A lot of brushing. The stones get really nice and clean. Not to mention all the vacuuming that's done before that. 
So this room has been finished completely. The walls have been um, tucked and the, blue, the brick has been scratch coated. Now that dark mortar that you just saw in the stone walls, that's still curing, that's still drying out, but it's hard. It's cured, but it's not dry. But it will dry out. So we've got these other walls that are going to be worked on some more and cleaned out and finished up. The homeowner decided to do all the walls at this one time because it was very dusty. The process was very dusty and dust was getting into the house upstairs because of draft through the floorboards. So we um, kept the windows in the basement closed to reduce the draft, but it still got some minor dust upstairs. So we wanted to finish it all at one time instead of having to come back next year. So they added some extra. I gave her a good deal and we did extra masonry work. This is another boiler room. This is a very large home in St. Paul, Minnesota. It uh, has different levels that are rented out as uh, a duplex. This is going to all get cleaned up and scratched out. This is all going to get finished up as well. This was just added. This part was just added. So we've got next week. It took two weeks to do this job entirely. Okay, well here's the final walkthrough of the basement work that we did in two weeks. Every mortar joint tuck pointed. Sometimes there's a couple, there's a few hard spots that don't come out because they were repaired after the original. So this is a beautiful spot here. We did this whole wall. And now we also did this one over here. This was an add-on. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and give us a call. Contact us on the web, naturalstonemasonry.com for a free quote.